Hi everyone, welcome to a new vlog. So this is gonna be a day in the life vlog. Sorry, I am blue da ba dee ba ba da ba da ba dee ba. I've got the blinds down. And uh, we're getting ready to actually go out for a run. We started about a week, a week and a half ago. We started doing the couch to 5K again. Uh, I've actually done it before, like all the way through, but that was a little while back and I've just fallen off the bandwagon. Uh, just with like moving and lockdown and stuff like that and yeah I'm I'm guilty of not doing a lot of exercise uh, during lockdown although like I've been doing the the Lucy Wyndham Reid uh, YouTube videos but like I was doing so much walking in my job as a runner uh, that I think going from that to then not having that and then only walking around the flat most days I think uh, it's had effects on uh, <laughs> on the old weight so uh, trying to get back in shape and get back running um, so yeah that's what we're gonna do in a minute uh, I actually had to go out this morning to the doctors it's nothing uh, serious all is well um, but it was something that couldn't be dealt with over the phone and so yeah I had to go to the the actual uh, surgery which was was strange uh, you had to like buzz the intercom and then tell them you had an appointment then you went in then you would sanitize your hands uh, I wore a face mask there if they asked me uh, beforehand to wear a face mask to go uh, but inside they actually had face masks as well if you arrived without one and then the doctor uh, came out and he had the face mask but also the visor and then the surgical apron as well uh, but I felt very, very safe, uh, made sure I kept sanitising and then sanitised when I got back to the flat. But uh, just doing amazing work. They were, they were just fantastic and uh, they made visiting sort of um, not scary and yeah, just felt really comfortable. So that was good. But boy, it is hot. <laughs> Ah, oh, it's like, I don't know, is it 23, 24 degrees or something today? Um, and we really feel the heat in this, uh, in this flat. Uh, might have to break out the fan a little bit later on, but I think we might also think about having a picnic in the park a little bit later. Just to mix the day up a bit as well. But yeah, that's what I've been up to this morning. Uh, watched a Tim Tracker. We watched uh, a Mickey's Girls as well, which is an account that we've uh, recently subscribed to. Uh, she's just a really nice and friendly uh, personality, uh, showing off the stuff that she uh, she managed to get from Shop Disney. Um, she's good at spotting when they've got uh, sales on. And actually in that video, uh, but I think it's the American uh, Shop Disney, she had a Toy Story Monopoly. <sighs> I really want to get the Toy Story Monopoly, but I looked on the Shop UK, Disney Shop UK, and they only had the Frozen 2 Monopoly, so might have to try and keep a lookout for the Toy Story one. Morning guys, I haven't been on the vlog yet, um, but I think Martin has told you that we are off out for our Couch to 5k run. I'm just going to fill up my chilli bottle, because um, I haven't drunk much this morning yet, and it is so hot. <laughs> I'm sure, Martin, have you said how hot it is? I have. It's like, it's going to get up to like 30, 31 degrees, which is really, really hot for the UK. Um, so we're not used to it, and I am a little bit worried about this run, but we are on week two, run two, um, and we really want to get all three runs done this week, so we're going to go for it, but I'm nervous. So before we go on our run, I just wanted to show you some new headphones that I was very kindly gifted from a company called Studio. And so they got in touch and asked if I wanted to receive a pair and, you know, like review them. And I was so grateful because I have been on the hunt for a pair of um, wireless ear pod style headphones because I really wanted them for exercise. And I also really wanted them um, for going on long walks and I've been looking around but I hadn't made a purchase yet and yeah I was just so grateful that they got in touch and they're really really good and now I can't imagine wearing my old headphones um, because I've just really got used to having wireless headphones and um, so I wanted to show you them in case you were looking for a new pair of headphones as well. 
And so these are them and they come in this little pouch and it's so cute. I went for pink, but you can also get white or black. And then these are the headphones that I got. Um, these are the Studio ETT headphones, um, but they have quite a lot of different designs on their website. Um, and they also have like over the ear big headphones as well. Um, but I went for these ones because this is the style that I was originally looking at. And I'm just so happy with them. They stay in my ears the whole time um, whilst I'm jogging, which I, that was the main thing that I was worried about with wireless headphones. I just thought they might fall out of my ears, but I've worn them on every single run that I've done so far and they've never once fallen out and they just feel really secure. They're also noise cancelling, so the sound quality is amazing for listening to like music and podcasts and anything. And I've also used them for calls because they have an inbuilt microphone, um, so you can just wear them, take a call, and I've like taken a call, wandered around the house and been able to do stuff whilst chatting to someone. And then what's great as well is that they also came with loads of different size, um, kind of like foam pads for the ears. Um, so if you find that the ones that it comes with aren't um, the right size for you, they've got so many different sizes. And then it also means that um, you can wash them and switch them up whenever you want to. And um, so I thought that was really good because I didn't even think about that. But I think my favourite feature about them is this little case that they come in and they also give you a charging adapter. Um, so you charge this case up and then this holds enough charge so that you can charge your headphones up to four times um, without having to um, plug in your charger, which means you can just carry this around and charge your headphones. So I've had these headphones for about three to four weeks and I haven't had to charge this yet. I've only charged it once, which is really, really impressive. And so you just put the headphones in when you finish using them. It also keeps them safe as well, so they're not like loose in your bag. And then it would tell you, there's a little light here, I don't know if you can see it, but it shows how much left of charge the case has, so that was two. And then it will flash, I don't think you can see because the light, um, but it flashes on either side to say it's charging your headphones, and then when the headphones are fully charged, then all the lights go off. And I just think that's a really great feature, um, because A, it keeps your headphones safe, and B, I've never taken the headphones out and they not been charged, um, which happened with my other wireless headphones because I would just always forget to charge them. So yeah, I just wanted to chat about them because I've been really, really impressed by them and I was so grateful to be gifted them and I really wanted to tell you guys about them because I honestly am so impressed by them. So if you are on the hunt for wireless headphones, um, also they do like over the ear headphones, I would highly recommend that you check them out. And they also gave me a 15% discount code for everyone. So if you quote so Helena 15 I'll put it on the screen now and also in the description box, then you can get 15% off of your order. Um, so thank you so much Studio, and I'll put all the information as always in the description box if you would like to have a look. So now I really do have to use the headphones and go for my run. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> also, I've been listening to Cheesy Hits on Spotify. It's a Spotify playlist. Um, and it's just so much fun and I've been listening to it on my runs and it's just kept me going But anyway, I'm putting it off aren't I? So we're gonna have to go. And this is me after the run <laughs> That was so tough We've literally just got back, washed our hands I've cleaned my headphones <laughs> and put them away to charge But we're gonna jump straight in the shower Oh my gosh, that was so difficult That was definitely the hottest run we've ever done. Very, very, um, very It was beautiful out there. Like the weather is amazing, but not so amazing to run in. <laughs> I'm exhausted. But yeah, I just wanted to come on, keeping it real. <laughs> this is what we look like. <laughs> right, time to shower. So I've showered and uh, whilst I've been getting ready, I did have a call from my work. So I was thinking of doing like a little life update at the end of this vlog um, to update you guys. Um, but whilst I was doing that, Martin has made a little pet lunch for us. Um, so we're gonna travel into Windsor and we think we're just gonna chill in the park and take advantage of this weather. I've kind of cooled down a little bit. 
I'm so blue in here. So in our living room, whenever it's really hot, we keep the blinds down and our blinds are like bright blue. So it turns the whole room blue. Um, but it is a good tip if you do live in a flat um, that gets really, really hot, if you keep your blinds down or your curtains closed, um, it does tend to keep the room a lot cooler. Obviously, it's a bit dreary. <laughs> um, but yeah, especially like in the mornings, if you just keep them closed, it does keep it cool. So yeah, we've been doing that a bit. But we're gonna head out, out into the sunshine. We need to nip to boots um, mm -hmm. because we need to get some sun cream and we need to get some toothpaste. Mm -hmm. um, but last time we went to boots, um, they were quite good at um, social distancing. There was like marks on the ground and we felt quite, quite comfortable shopping there. So fingers crossed it's not very busy. And yeah, we'll be able to get those things. But yeah, we're gonna head in now. Yeah? Yeah. Yep. Also while we're out, we've got a slinky dog badge to uh, send out. So thank you so much for uh, for getting one of those. And then we're also going to, we're gonna try our masks uh, that we got from PJ Embroidery. We're gonna try those outside because I think it, it would probably be good to get used to them, uh, to wearing them in hot weather. Okay, <laughs> this is weird. It takes a bit of getting used to, doesn't it? Um, vlogging with, uh, with the mask on. But yeah, got, got the mask on. Gonna grab a uh, backpack, which has got the pack lunch in, and then we're gonna head on our way. So you must recognise where we are, because we always come here. It's because there's a lot of space. Yeah, and it's the long walk, so the castle's here. But this pub is so beautiful. Obviously it's closed at the moment, but when it's safe and we feel comfortable, I'm definitely going to come here because I pass it every time and I love it. But yeah, we just love coming here. We find it so relaxing, so peaceful. And it's just amazing. <laughs> so here is the castle. Wow, it looks even more stunning because of the weather. There we are. <laughs> Imagine that being the entrance to your house. <laughs> so we're just walking down the long walk and we just posed for a photo, but I had sunglasses and the mask on, so <laughs> I could not even smile. You wouldn't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're just looking for a um, shaded place um, under one of the trees. Yeah. But it's so peaceful and lovely. Because even though we bought sun cream, I just... I just oh, it's need too to cool. hot. I need, it's too hot. That I couldn't sit me of in it anyway. Trip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we found a nice hidden place We've in the picked, trees. Picked our tree. <laughs> um, just here, and it's right by this, which sometimes you can see animals in. I'm not sure. What does this say? Beyond the fence in Shaw Farm Meadow at 5:13 on September 9th, 1911, after a flight from Hendon. Gustav Hamel landed with the first UK aerial post to commemorate the coronation of King George V. Hmm, but it just so looks like here. masses of... Could do with a cup though. <laughs> what is it? It's, it's some kind of plants, isn't it? Or food? Oh, is it? Oh yeah, sorry, is it crops? Yeah. Oh, maybe not. Looks like it. Here's a back lunch. Helma hates me showing sandwiches on the camera. <laughs> I don't like the look of soggy sandwiches. They're not soggy. I know, but I don't know why. <laughs> but um, so we got our Iceland delivery this week, and you know how they substitute uh, things if they don't have what you've uh, ordered. We looked out with this one because instead of the bread that we ordered, we ended up getting tiger, tiger bread. Tiger bread. Who do we think we are? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice and relaxed. Mm. It's really nice. The breeze is lovely because it's so hot, as we've said throughout the whole of this vlog. Um, but underneath this tree, it's really peaceful and the breeze is really nice. Martin's all ready to go. I've still got my shoes to put on, my mask to put on. Don't worry, I can make those go onto your feet. Go on then. Boppity boppity boo. How did you do that? Magic. <laughs> And 
we're back. Hair is in a pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> I ended at the right time there. Like, that was like we planned and it. <laughs> and I'm gonna have an ice lolly. <gasps> so we've cooled down a little. Oh, my face looks a bit red. Hopefully uh, I haven't burnt myself. I did have sun cream on. Um, <laughs> but I wanted to show you um, the collector's woody uh, that I got from Toy Story for my birthday. We discovered a, a different setting <laughs> on him. So I was just going to show you now. Um, also, we've over the past uh, four nights watched all of the Toy Story films. Um, I love those characters, they are so special and it was really nice to watch each one. I've always said that Toy Story 2 is my favourite but Toy Story 3 has got so many amazing bits in it that that might have been my favourite actually over the the four but it's it's one of those things that just changes all the time which one's my favourite. <laughs> so here's Woody and this is the setting we've got him on at the moment, it's you pull the string and he talks, and then we. Howdy, partner. My name's Sheriff Woody. We started to think, oh, he keeps saying the same things each time we pull the string. He has about five phrases, and then I looked in the instructions, and it told me that it's currently on the tester setting, so what you'd get in the shop. Uh, so it's like got limited capability. So you just. Ha <laughs> ha! Boy, am I glad to see you. Tend to get the same uh, speeches from him, but then. So there's a switch here, it's a little bit tricky to get to. So it's at the top of the minute, if you push it down one, that's off now, so it won't do anything. But if you put it all the way down to the bottom, this is the interactive setting, so it'll respond to the pitch of your voice. How are you doing today, Woody? There's nothing like riding through town with my favorite deputy. Oh, that's amazing. That's you, partner. I'm your favorite deputy. Yeehaw! Ride him, cowboy! Oh, this is amazing, thank you, Woody. You're right, someone's got to do it. A sheriff always wears his badge with pride. You wearing your badge with pride? Hey, howdy, hey. Hey, howdy, who? When there's trouble on the prairie, I'm your sheriff. Is that trouble? If there's one thing I've learned about being a sheriff, it's that you're only as good as your favorite deputy. Is that true? And since you're my favorite deputy, I must be the best sheriff around. Oh, don't stop, Woody. Say, partner, what do you want to do today? I don't know. We've watched all the Toy Stories. Well, pull my string. <laughs> I thought you'd be glad about that. Come on, let's have ourselves a rootin' tootin' good time. All right, let's go. So a little bit of time has passed and Martin has made dinner and it looks really good. I made quesadillas. Yay. Here Although they are. I'm slightly burnt, some of it. They're a cheesy <laughs> bean yeah. and this is, is that avocado? It is. They look really good. So we've just gone through Disney Plus and chosen what we're going to watch tonight. And it's a bug's life because I haven't seen this in years. I think it's honestly been about... 10, 15, maybe even more years well, since I've you watched seen this. Life? Yeah? No, I've I haven't watched, watched it. Bugs Life with you, I? Have you? I don't remember. I'm pretty sure we have at some point. But we thought because we were watching through all the Disney classics, that whilst we do that, if we fancy something different, we should start watching through all the Disney Pixar's. And we watched all of the Toy Stories. Um, so we thought next is A Bug's Life. Mm -hmm. um, but before we do that and end the vlog, we just wanted to give you guys a quick life update because we haven't filmed a day in the life vlog for so long. Sorry, um, I'm just climbing in. <laughs> yeah, come sit. Yeah, as I was saying, we haven't filmed a day in the life vlog for so long. So we realized that we went from filming every day mm -hmm. for so long. Um, and then we've just been doing sit downs. So we haven't had like a little chat. 
Um, but we just wanted to say first off, thank you so much for all your lovely supportive messages on our um, Disney World trip update. Yes. It wasn't the video that we wanted to make. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, but all your comments have been so lovely, really supportive, and it's really nice to hear from people that um, are also Going in the midst the, of yeah deciding thing, what to yeah. do. And my job for this evening whilst watching A Bug's Life is to um, go through and reply to all the comments um, because we've read them all yeah. um, but we haven't had a chance yet to reply to everyone so I'm gonna do that tonight and I really enjoy replying to comments Oh, I love um, reading them, love, yeah, interacting Yeah, so if you ever think, oh, maybe I shouldn't send a comment always do because we really like replying and chatting to you guys So yeah, we thought we'd just quickly do a little life update um, since we last kind of chatted about what's, what's going on I know that so much has happened within the past couple of weeks mm. in regards to people's jobs and um, all the uh, restrictions being lifted and also the latest about the 4th of July um, which means a lot more businesses um, will be opening. So if you didn't know I am a performer, I did work on cruise ships mm -hmm. um, <laughs> um, but at the moment I am working as a performer in a UK theme park. I don't want to give too many details away on here um, but if you do follow me on Instagram then you have kind of a, an idea of what I do because yeah. I, do, I do share photos on there um, so check that out if you are interested um, but yeah I'm a performer at a UK theme park at the moment and um, since um, the lockdown happened I have been very luckily furloughed and with the new announcement it does mean that my place of work will be able to open on the 4th of July and um, so I will be returning mm. it's obviously going to be so different from yeah. what I'm used to um, it's going to follow a lot of the same kind of rules and regulations that Disney World and Universal have um, because I've been keeping up to date with that in regards to their theme parks I was kind of a bit more clued up when um, mm. they announced that I was going back because I had like looked at what they had done and yeah, I already in my similar. head had thought about it. Yeah. Um, so it's, I think it's going to be pretty similar to that but it is going to be a bit different to what I was used to. Um, but I'm really looking forward to being back and at the moment they're really taking it all really seriously. Um, I had a call this morning as I think I mentioned in the vlog um, and then I'm being updated again at the end of the week. Mm. Um, so they are really taking everything really seriously and making sure that we're safe. That's their number one priority. So it's gotta be, hasn't it? So, yeah. yeah. So I feel really supported and I feel really um, comfortable and safe with going back. So I'm really grateful for that. And I also am really grateful because I know um, so many are in a position where, um, especially if it's performing work, but it can be anything. Um, that people aren't able to work um, at the moment so I am really grateful that um, I will be able to return. Um, so yes yeah, so I will be returning gosh in like a week and a bit so it's going to be a bit of a shock to the system. <laughs> um, <laughs> so you need to get your body clock back don't you? Yeah I need to get my body clock uh, back to waking up earlier um, and also I need to get used to um, moving a bit more <laughs> um, but yeah I'm looking forward to it and I'm really grateful that um, luckily I do have a job to return to and it is a performing job because um, I'm lucky that my venue allows for me to still be able to perform because it's very difficult for the theatre industry mm. at the moment um, in regards to live performances and um, theatres so I feel very grateful um, that yeah I will be returning in a week or so obviously this is all up in the air if things change um, and lockdown has to come back in then it will change but at the moment um, I will be returning soon mm -hmm. so yeah I'm looking forward to it. So if you didn't know I was working as a post-production runner uh, at a post-production studio in London so a place that uh, puts together TV shows um, and like I was I was there to serve things to the rooms and go out and get um, their food and stuff for lunch and things and uh, with hopes of progressing up and uh, looking into editing but um, I was on a contract and thankfully I was furloughed um, when this all happened but my contract actually ran out last week um, and I got in touch with them asking 
what was going to be happening and, and whether they'd be able to extend me and they just said in the current climate that they they weren't able to um so yeah i just had my last furlough pay and uh, i'm on the job hunt so yeah, that, that's where i stand hard. again <laughs> um but we kind of wanted to share with you all because we know so many people are in a really similar position and mm. it's such a hard time and it's a it's a high pressure time it's a it really high pressure is. time and i th i feel like um we had the first initial shock with the lockdown happening and i know that quite a lot of people lost their jobs then mm. um but also because of these new restrictions and everything and people are starting to like go back to work i feel like there's been another wave of people um sadly losing their jobs so yeah, we just want to send our love to anyone who is also in yeah. that situation because it is not a nice situation oh, to be not, in no. at all in the current situation. No. And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm very grateful and, and that I even had just a couple of months where I was able to yeah to still be with them but get yeah. the furlough. So yeah, you are on the job hunt. You've been working hard. So I am. Yeah. We feel pretty positive <laughs> that um, you'll be able to get something pretty quick, even if it's just something for the time being. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's kind of our update. Yes. And I think that's everything. Um, I believe so. Obviously, you know all about our wedding, which is postponed to next year. <laughs> and our honeymoon, our honeymoon. <laughs> which is postponed. postponed. Um, also, Disneyland Paris has reopened. Well, is in the phase of reopening. Yeah. Um, so... Yeah, that's exciting. And we checked the travel restrictions today, just out of curiosity. And at the moment, you do still have to... It's voluntary. From what I read, and I think it was put out by the French government, uh, I actually got it through uh, the Eurotunnel had retweeted it. Yeah. Um, so you can travel over to France. Um, the, the borders are open. But when you get over there, there's like a, it's voluntary 14 day isolation. So they're, mm. they're looking to you to be a good uh, citizen and to, and to follow that rule. But then when you return uh, to the UK, you're then going to have to do the compulsory 14 day isolation. So if you were to take all of that into account, you're going to have to have about five weeks five off. Week, yeah, five week off from work and whatever. So, yeah. so we, we can't do that. And it's it's not practical for, for us to do that or anyone really to do that. So we're kind of waiting to... Uh, yeah, we're going to wait, wait and to, see. Wait and then hopefully, see. fingers crossed, um, things get better. The numbers keep coming down. down. And, and then, uh, you know, if, if that doesn't fully end, maybe it becomes a shorter isolation period. I yeah, something like that. But yeah, we are hoping that it will continue um, to get better and then we should be able to look at going yeah. uh, nearer the end of the year. So yeah, I think that is everything for now. We'll obviously keep you updated um, because stuff seems to change every day at the oh, moment. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but that's, that's it as it stands when we're filming this. Um, so yeah, we're just going to enjoy our evening. We're going to watch A Bug's Life. We're going to watch um, Bug's Life. We're going to turn this fan back on. Yes. <laughs> It's so hot if you don't know. No, from this vlog. <laughs> no. We've said it so many times. I'm sure everyone else in the UK is saying it as no. well. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're just gonna have a chilled evening. And yeah, we'll see you on Sunday at 10 a.m. Uh, we'll do another premiere as well. Yeah. Um. So if you want to join at 10 a.m., then you can have a little chat in the live chat with us. So yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, I'll make sure all the studio um, information about the headphones is in the description box if you are interested in that. And we will see you on Sunday. Thanks for watching. Bye. Toodle, Pipsky.